Hello and welcome to this new Substance Painter video. Today we are going to focus on a new uh, feature introduced in Substance Painter 2017.2, which are the anchor points and uh, more specifically how to resolve another problem that uh, you could have had in the previous version. So in order to showcase this, what we are going to do is to go to File, Open Sample and Open Mitmap that you may already know. So once it's loaded, you just we are going to focus on the head. So just click on solo in the texture set list to isolate the head like like this. And then, okay. So the problem is this one. Sometimes um, when you wanted to paint, so first I'm going to create a few materials on it. So first of all, I'm going to put like a, a blue PVC and then some rust and like that. And I'm going to create a black mask because I don't want the rust to be everywhere. So to isolate and put it just on the edges, I could I can create a, a mask, do right click, add a generator. In the generator, I just choose MG mask generator here. So you see that it starts doing something and then uh, I'm going to tweak it a bit, so I'm going to put a bit more contrast like this. I'm going to choose maybe um, a texture to influence a bit the effect. Something like that and maybe affect a bit more the contrast. Okay, so let's say that's uh, something I'm sat satisfied with. Um, the problem is this one. It's, uh, Substance Painter is made to, to paint uh, some uh, details as well, whether color, uh, specular, uh, relief, etc. But the, when you were painting the, the relief, it wasn't taken in consideration in the, the gener generator. So for example, if I add a new painting layer here, and I'm make, making sure that I'm just, I just have the, um, the normal map channel activated, I re remove the pressure of my Wacom, and I'm going to choose uh, a stamp like, uh, let's say, um, this one, for example. Okay, so I have my model. Do something like this. And I stamp like that. So, okay, I have a nice stamp, but you see that it's, uh, the edges are not taken in consideration by the mask editor here. Uh, so before uh, the latest version, it was possible to uh, to do something. We had a work uh, work around, which was to um, export uh, the normal map of this project, then re-import it, uh, place it in the texture settings in uh, the normal map slot, and then rebake all the additional map by using uh, this feature here. Um, so it was working, but it was really painful for many reasons. The first one is that, uh, first, all this process is a bit tedious. And second, if you want to paint new details or to remove some details, you uh, have uh, you had to do, redo all the process. So not really, not really handy, uh, indeed. Oops, sorry. Um, where am I here? Hmm. For some reason, I removed the normal map, so we're going to add it. Okay, so here it is. And I'm going to remove, to put back the alpha. Maybe by this way. Okay, this for example, okay. I'm just making sure that, okay, I have something like that. Okay, so that was tedious. So now uh, with the, um, the new anchor points, uh, you can solve this problem easily. Just by doing this. The, what is an anchor point is actually something that you can access by doing right click on a layer, whether it's, it can be on a mask or on the material directly. And at the bottom, you can do add anchor point like this, and you can give it a given name, which is my Relief painting, for example, one. 
zero one. Okay, so the, you here I just created a reference to this point, so it, which means that the content that is painting painted here can be accessed uh, almost anywhere in the in the soft. In our case, we are going to use it with the mask generator. Um, in, to do that, we have introduced few stuff, few new stuff in the generators, uh, which are at the bottom. So first, you see that there is a micro details section which is here which allows me to activate the details for the height or for the normal normals or both both of them and if you continue to scroll down you have two uh, sorry a bit more you have now two texture slots for the micro normal and the micro height so in our case what i'm going to do is first at the bottom at the top here i'm going to activate the micro normal so you see that it starts to do something, even if there is nothing so far. It take, here it's just take the regular color. And I'm going to replace. You see that here you have the resource, but you have a second thumbnail. And you have our anchor point that we just created. And you see that so far it doesn't do anything. Why? Because you have to specify which channel you want uh, to reference. So I'm going, in our case, to take the normal map. And now, uh, you see that uh, it works, uh, which is really fine, but we still have a problem. Imagine that I've uh, painted this, I'm really happy, uh, but for some reason I want to add some information in a new layer. So for, first, you can check that if I'm going back here, if I, uh, let's say I'm going to do something like that, you see that now, as long as it's on the same layer, it's taken in account, no problem. But if I, had a new, if I add a new layer here, um, I'm going to change the normal, I'm going to put something like that. Uh, if I paint this, you see that you can see it here, but it's not taken in account, which of course is a problem. So how to solve this? Um, so in this specific case, uh, the trick is to actually create a new layer, like uh, let's say this one. And in this layer, what you, we are, you are going to change first. Let me think about that. Um, we are going to make sure, actually, I think I can do it with the fill layer. We're going to try. So in this fill layer, what I'm going to remove is the color, the metal, the rough, and I'm going to leave just the height and the normal map. Maybe in our case, just the normal map. And what I'm going to make sure is that if I go to the normal map channel here, I'm going to change the mode to pass through, which is here. So what does it mean? Um, it means that when you go to pass through, what it does, it takes all the information below as the content of the layer. So it means that everything that you have painting or put below will now be uh, stored in this layer. And that's really, of course, really interesting. So what I'm going to do now is to create an anchor point on this one. Um, I'm going to call it new anchor point, like that. Made a small mistake here, I think, anchor. And now, if I go back here, I'm going to go to the reference I just created. Uh, here, anchor point, and then I choose new anchor point. And once again, you have to define to say, okay, I want to take an account of the normal map. And now you see that I've taken the, the, the relief, the normal map information of these two layers. And I can add another one if I want and paint on it. Oh, sorry, you see that A doesn't work because it's above. But if I move it below, now it's taken in account. And now this one is useless. So I'm going to delete it. And um, that's actually it. Uh, what you could do if you want is even. Um, well, maybe it's no. We are going to stop here because it's now. So don't forget that you can do this. Um, you can even say, um, you know what? I would like to be able to either paint height map or normal map below. So you can, in that case, you can say, okay, take this fill layer. I activate the height map. I go here and make sure the height map is in that's through as well. So fine, it doesn't do anything. And I'm going to go. 
just here like this okay and i'm going in this new layer here i'm going to change a bit i'm going to deactivate height map and uh, sorry deactivate normal map and activate height map and i'm going to use this for example like that changing this and i'm going to paint like this so once again you see that it's painted but it's not taken in account um i just making sure here i activate both height and normal and now i go to the mask editor again and in the settings i go down i make sure first that the micro details micro height is activated and then i go here I go to the micro height, I choose the, the same anchor point, and I say this time in this anchor point, I face normal, and here I want the height map to be taken in account. And now you see that it's taken in account just here in the height map. So just with one fill layer here, I can rename it like a anchor content, anchor content. Sorry for the French accent. So just with this one, you can reference all the, um, the um, bump painting that you could have done either in the normal map or in the height map. Uh, it will store everything yet that you have put below. So that's it for, for this uh, tutorial. I, I hope it has been useful. Uh, the anchor point can be used for many different uh, situations. Uh, this is one of them. Uh, if you have some recommendation, if you found new uh, ways to use the anchor points, don't hesitate to 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 expose them them in in, in the comments. So maybe we can do a new video uh, with them. Thanks again for watching, and see you see you in the next video.